Hello there. Messy project today. They happen sometimes. It's Asia Marke here, Lemon Creation. Welcome to my channel. So let's do the image transfer. For that, I prepared mixed media paper, which is smooth. Uh, I'd say it will work much better than the um, watercolor paper. And then I'm gonna cover it with the, a layer of uh, gesso. In the inside, I should probably dilute this gesso because it's a heavy gesso from uh, Liquitex, maybe too heavy. And probably I should have used the brush. But I am experimenting, guys. And this is, I think, my fourth image transfer uh, today. And the uh, previous ones didn't work. Well, the last one worked kind of, <laughs> but I've been looking over the internet and I cannot really find a um, tutorial with the uh, image which is printed on the inkjet printer. Everybody seems to be saying that, you know, you need a laser printer. I don't have one. What can I do? So I started to experiment. I printed my four photos, not sure which one I'm gonna use, uh, and they are quite darkish or on the white black ground. Uh, I think it's probably the best way to go because if the photos are too colorful, I'm not sure that it's gonna work uh, so well. And uh, yes, I used a normal printer uh, paper, uh, inkjet printer once again, and I am just distressing the edges. Basically, I don't want to have a, a, you know, rectangular edges. That's why I am uh, removing the bits and pieces here with my fingers. And then I'm gonna uh, add matte gel from PBO. Uh, this is the end of my tube, so I am uh, struggling here to get a little bit of the uh, gel out. And basically what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna uh, add the uh, gel medium all over the um, photo. Well, it's not really a photo, uh, all over the image. And um, the paint moves a little. You know, the, as you've seen there, there were shadows where the paint moved a little, but it didn't actually move as much as I would expect, so I was happy with that. And then you have to dry it very well. Uh, very important is also to repeat the process a few times. Uh, so here I'm doing it four or five times. And uh, every time I add a layer of uh, gel medium, then I dry it and I repeat it until the last uh, application. As you can see, I sped up the process, uh, so it's not too boring for you, simply. And also, as you can see, when I make, um, when I add the uh, gel with the brush, you can see there are some lines, so it's not a perfect uh, coverage, but the moment you actually dry it, the lines disappear. And later, maybe they are actually affecting um, or having an effect uh, on your uh, image, but um, I haven't really noticed that, and I have to do more trials. And so the last application you do, you don't dry it. You just put it, uh, you know, upside down on the paper and just be careful because of course you're gonna get a mirror image on the paper. So wherever you have, uh, if for example, uh, you have a picture of a girl who is facing right on the pe uh, when you put it on the paper, you're gonna get the image of the girl who is facing left. And so that's very important, especially if you are gonna, uh, you know, transfer some words, then you have to actually print the mirror uh, words which are already mirrored and so i dried it uh, to be sure uh, that you know it actually uh, well adhered to the page and you have to dry it very well so it has to be really really well dried and the best is to dry it from both sides and then i sprayed it with water and uh, here is when the magic comes so you basically need to rub it with your finger and if you see that uh, the paper doesn't come off, like you can see maybe here on the right hand side, uh, you know, on the side of her uh, hair, that there are some white spaces, exactly here when I'm touching with the wet brush, I just drew at it again with the water. And uh, yes, you have to rub it with your fingers. It takes time. And once again, this is a um, process which is uh, sped up on the video. I did it very uh, like slowly <laughs> to be sure that uh, you know I'm not gonna remove too much of the paper and uh, of the image which is glued with the uh, how do you call it with the gel and as you've seen in the corner I actually made um, 
I made a stain because my fingers are getting dark from the photo I'm removing, from the paper I'm removing, so now I'm holding it with the, with the piece of tissue paper like that. I am sure I'm not gonna uh, actually uh, make the page even more dirty. And I wrap, I apply the water if I feel like I need it more. Uh, be careful not to wrap too strong because you actually can remove uh, the image uh, completely or partially uh, and you're gonna get the uh, you know the white paper which is sticking out from uh, underneath honestly i tried few techniques uh, with image transfer from inkjet printer uh, there were uh, there was a technique when you actually just print uh, something on the on the printer paper and then you use eucalyptus oil and it's supposed to transfer uh, without any problems or you just transfer on this you know transparent packets when you put inside the documents so you are just basically printing on it my printer it's a canon i don't know why <laughs> she doesn't accept any of these sort of papers well they are not papers they are kind of uh, you know plastified uh, packets uh, it doesn't recognize it so i cannot do it but uh, you can try with your printer because it's true when you print on something like that the image doesn't dry so you basically can uh, you know flip it over straight uh, and uh, probably transfer it i've seen uh, some crafters on the internet doing that as i said my printer doesn't work that way and i have no access to laser printer and i really want to do image transfer so I am struggling a little, but then, you know me also, I do mostly grunge uh, looking pages or uh, vintage uh, sometimes, so, you know, if my image is not totally perfect, I can live with that. And this image, the transfer went uh, okay, I, as you can see, it's not that bad. I didn't wrap too much, I didn't get the white paper sticking out from beneath, uh, underneath. The only um, problem I have with it is that the edges are a little um, thick. Maybe I should have watered it more or something, I have no idea. And also, as you can see, there are some shadows, like the color kind of went on the paper. That's why I had the piece of tissue in the corner mm, to, you know, to keep it, to keep my fingers on it. But while rubbing, I wanted to kind of rub uh, towards the white page not towards the face of the girl because I was afraid that I'm gonna make it dirty and probably that's what would have happened so because I transfer or oh, I wrapped uh, towards the outside of the pictures I got this uh, this kind of dirt you know once again I'm gonna cover that up but as you can see I'm removing the pieces of borders here because uh, I don't know I found that they were actually quite thick they are uh, nothing to compare with uh, if you were to glue a photo. They are uh, much less thicker or much no less thicker. <laughs> but you know, they are still there. And I would like kind of this fluidity between the photo itself and the page. So really something which is uh, really well transferred. I'm gonna experiment because uh, I want to. <laughs> I really do. If you have any uh, techniques which really work, I would appreciate if you can share with me and with uh, others uh, and just leave it in the comment down below. Uh, so like we can uh, like that we can share our experience. But uh, for now, I stayed. Uh, I'm quite happy with what I have. And I'm gonna be uh, adding some colors. Uh, also a question to you guys. <laughs> Should I say colorizing the image or color the image. I am not sure really <laughs> uh, what to use. I've seen or I heard two versions <laughs> and I'm not sure which one I should be, I should use. Uh, but anyway, coming back, I'm gonna be doing a wash uh, with acrylic paints from uh, Paper Artsy. This one is brown and the other is little black dress. And um, well, it's not really a wash because I didn't add any wash to the paints itself and I'm actually applying it with the small uh, craft knife but I wanted, uh, I don't know, I wanted that it kind of, um, it's more, f still more fluid if I was, uh, if it was, if I were to uh, add it only, you know, on the, on the like dry paper with the palette knife so that's what I did and here you go uh, I didn't uh, appreciate what I done on the top so I tried to remove it a little bit with the water but you know um, uh, acrylic paints are drying very quickly so 
they are not very forgiving i have to say but as i said uh, even if i don't like my paint application i can always fix it later with stamping and just cover the parts i don't like or there is too much of paint you know so that's what i'm gonna do and uh, of course i added a little bit on the photo also and here i'm gonna be adding this little black dress uh, paint around the photo um, also to cover you know these imperfections which i uh, did during the photo transfer now she looks like she's a little devil she has two <laughs> things on the on her head i've done horns i think yes they are called horns <laughs> Guys, uh, really, sometimes the, um, the process of creating a page is just really like uh, either a disaster or just a motive to laugh. <laughs> uh, yes, it doesn't look very pretty, but uh, at the end I fix it uh, to my liking still. And as I've noticed also, sometimes I uh, post a page which uh, I don't like especially, it's not my favorite, it's not that I don't like especially if there, yes, you should hold it, I'm missing third hand here uh, is not that you know I never post things which I really don't like because I out of respect for you guys I don't want it also and uh, I because if I don't like something I'm ashamed simply <laughs> so I don't post it thankfully the more you do the more you create the less of projects like that you know which finish in the bin uh, you do <laughs> so it happens very rarely but uh, I've noticed that, um, you know, there are some pages which I really like and which have no views, no comments, almost. And pages which uh, I like, they are okay, but you know, they are not my favorite, by far not my favorite. And you guys love it, so, you know, everybody has their own taste. And I'm gonna be using uh, stamps from uh, Marim Smolart. This one I love very much, but it's a design on its own and it's very hard for me. I made one page with the whole stamp. It was lovely, this page, I really like it. And it's so hard for me now to, you know, to reuse it because I thought, I think that, you know, once I did it and it works super well, it's very hard to do something else with this design, but I may try. And of course, yes, I made an um, impression on her face. Um, I was thinking I'm gonna actually cut that out, but no, I want to show you. <laughs> I have this mono eraser. It's a very good eraser, actually. It has a um, part which erases the ink. So I erase this ink here. My stupidity here. <laughs> it's simple uh, as that because I should have covered her face. I should use, use some masking paper, but you know, sometimes I'm just running and just, you know, do things without thinking twice. So if you have a problem like that, um, you should actually invest in uh, some kind of very good eraser. This one is not bad, really. I, I got it from, you know, I got it, uh, this name from uh, Jennifer McGuire. So, you know, she should know <laughs> what she's talking about. And this is the second um, stamp from Marie Mollard. Also one of my favorite beautiful flowers. I really love them. And uh, yes, so <laughs> I'm doing a little uh, disaster here. You know, not really sure where to stamp, what to stamp. Uh, I wanted to make a kind of flowery layout, but it's so busy already with the colors I added that it didn't actually uh, uh, didn't work as I would like and didn't give justice to the stamps. Uh, but still, you know, I'm gonna cover it with more stamps. <laughs> and like that, you know, it's gonna be good. So, you know, you know all of my secrets now. <laughs> if the page doesn't work, cover it with stamp. And that's it. <laughs> now I'm using Creative Embellishment Stamp. It's a mounted stamp, but I really love it. It's a circle with tiny circles, or made of, out of tiny circles. And uh, what else, of course? Uh, yes, I'm gonna ink the page, uh, pages. <laughs> I'm gonna ink the pa page, the edges, <laughs> pages. And I'm gonna add a little bit of Alpine Ice Rose. Uh, this is a magical shaker from uh, Lindy's Gang, of course. So I wanted to uh, have a paint also which is more fluid because uh, finally I didn't uh, like the harsh edges uh, which I got with the acrylic with, by applying it uh, simply with the craft knife. Knife. That's what you get, kind of harsh edges. And I wanted that uh, also um, my page is not as white for it. That's the first, I think. No, not maybe not the first, but you know, I like my white page. However, for this one, I decided that uh, more color would be uh, much nicer. 
the image is quite uh, striking, it's quite uh, strong, so that's why I also wanted to uh, add more color. Here is a good thing about sprays, you can always dab the excess quite quickly, you know, uh, and you, you can do it, you can move the paints uh, as opposed to acrylics. So yes, I have more control and I think still mm, the powders and the... Uh, the powders and the sprays are my favorite maybe uh, coloring devices <laughs> but uh, I'm just learning ac acrylics so you know it's not that I don't like acrylics I just don't know too much about them you know I've been with Lindis for five years and so uh, I really used a lot of sprays and powders and also Paper Artsy has nice infusions which I love and I've been using since two years so I could just simply used to it uh, not totally because I don't know if you've noticed uh, just a few seconds ago I uh, actually opened uh, the wrong side of the uh, shaker and I got a big lump of powder falling on the image thankfully this part was dry so I could uh, pick it up you know and put it back in the box but yes that's what happens uh, you know disasters 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 very rarely I have uh, actually a quiet um, you know quiet art process when I can create you know without worries everything works it's a, it's a rough i'm not that kind of artist i don't have that much talent to be you know to know everything you know in advance to know what steps to take and to what mediums to use and how to make a, a masterpiece no. uh, very far from that and on top of that of course i have this uh, online shop and it's taking a lot of my time and i've been uh, trying to design uh, to make a little designs uh, but i was hoping i'm gonna release them <laughs> in uh, spring and no i hope maybe uh, um, before summer it really uh, takes a toll there is uh, a lot of work but i am so grateful that so many of you already made a purchase, uh, made a comments on my shop. This is uh, even when you send me a message, you know, um, I am so happy. And uh, even though it takes me a lot of time because, you know, there is a paperwork involved, which takes quite a lot of time. So everything has to be done precisely. And then I always uh, like to add some uh, freebies with the uh, envelopes I'm sending away. I am so happy with every single purchase you do. And thank you so much for that. Uh, back to the page i did some uh, doodle borders around the girl with a final a fine liner uh, because i wanted to kind of anchor her more to the page i still didn't like these harsh edges uh, from the image transfer and i added a sentiment from my messy words uh, silence is an answer because she has closed eyes and it's a silent page <laughs> even if it's very messy uh, that's it guys from me. Uh, yes, it's not my favorite page, I have to admit, but I hope you still enjoy the process and I'm gonna be working on the image transfer. If I get a better idea, I will let you know. I am sending you big hugs. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button below and have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye bye!